Here's a list of tools and supplies you will actually need. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna go through the list of supplies you will need as a beginner Cricut crafter. If you recently got a Cricut machine, I hope you find this guide helpful. Let me know in the comments which machine you have. I would love to know. Now let's get into the video. The most commonly used material is adhesive vinyl. It's available in a variety of colors and finishes such as matte, glossy, metallic, glitter, and much more. Depending on the project you're working with, you will either need permanent or removable vinyl. Permanent vinyl is long-lasting, UV and water resistant, which can be used for both indoor and outdoor projects. This material will adhere to smooth surfaces such as metal, plastic, glass, or wood. It's great to make decals for cars, wood signs, tumblers, and mugs. My favorite brands to use are Starcraft HD, TechRap, and Cricut Smart Vinyl when using the matteless feature with my Cricut Explorer machine. On the other hand, removable vinyl has a lower tack and is used for temporary application on indoor projects such as wall decals or window stickers. When this material is removed, it won't leave any residue. This first tool is a must for almost every single project. It's a retractable measuring tape. It comes in handy when you're trying to figure out the width and length for your designs before cutting it with your Cricut machine. Since these are flexible, they are also great to measure rounded surfaces like mugs, tumblers, or ornaments. I like how easy the taper tracks back after you're done using it so they don't take too much space compared to a traditional ruler. Investing in a portable trimmer is so worth it. I have this 13 inch trimmer that came in a Cricut tool set, but you can also find them separately. It basically helps you achieve accurate cuts and straight lines on a variety of materials like paper, cardstock, and vinyl. Sometimes you will need your material to be a certain size to fit on your mat, so this tool is easy to use for a quick trim. Next, let's talk about Cricut blades. There's a few different blades you will be able to use that are compatible with your cutting machine model. However, I believe it's not necessary to buy them all right away. I recommend playing around with the blade your machine comes with first, which is a fine point blade. It can cut most of the commonly used materials like adhesive vinyl, iron on vinyl, cardstock, sticker paper, and even faux leather. Eventually, after using the blade for a while, it will become dull and not cut properly anymore. So you will need to replace the blade. I like getting this pack from Amazon. It comes with 40 blade replacements for my Cricut Explorer machine and I also got some for my Cricut Joy. They are more affordable this way and they work perfectly. As for the cutting mats, I suggest getting the green 12 by 12 inch standard grip mat. Trust me, it's the mat you will use the most out of all of them, at least in the beginning while you get comfortable with exploring and working with other materials. Same thing applies with Cricut Joy users. The mats are obviously just smaller, but you will need it to hold your medium weight materials in place while your machine cuts. Next, we have the Cricut Brayer. This tool's ideal for getting materials to adhere to the cutting mats properly, and it also helps remove any bubbles or wrinkles your vinyl sheets may have. It's great when working with adhesive vinyl, iron on vinyl, cardstock, infused ink and pretty much any material that needs a little help to adhere to the cutting mat before cutting it with your machine. You want to make sure they lay completely flat or else it could affect your cut results. This one might be an obvious one, but as a crafter in general, you just can't have enough pair of scissors. Typically, if you get a Cricut tool set, it will come with scissors. I totally recommend them if you don't have a good pair of scissors yet. Just FYI, they are small but very sharp, so don't underestimate them. Having a pair of scissors will make it easy for you to trim down your materials during your project making process. The next must on my list are weeding tools. These will help you remove the negative cuts on your vinyl designs for both adhesive and iron on vinyl. There's a few different types of weeding tools. My favorite to use are weeding hooks and pin pens. The pin pens have a needle-like point, making it easy to weed intricate cuts. I like to keep a few around my craft space in case I ever misplace them. That way, I will always have one in hand. In my opinion, having a scrap collector is an essential if you work with a lot of vinyl projects. There's a few options to choose from. The first one is a Twixie hinge scrap collector that is made out of silicone. I absolutely love this thing. It keeps my workspace clean from scraps and it has a smart grip airlock suction so it won't move around but you can also easily remove it from your desk. These come in a variety of sizes and colors. They even have small ones that fit on your finger like a ring which can be convenient to help speed up your work pace. Or if you have an empty disinfectant wipe container, you can use it as a scrap collector as well. I like to keep one around my craft space for bigger weeding projects. You can even decorate it to make it cute. The next tool is fine point tweezers. They're handy when assembling small elements in projects such as cake toppers and paper flowers. They are also great to fix any small mistakes like I did here on this vinyl project. I was able to pick up the vinyl letter without touching the adhesive with my fingers. If you're looking into doing adhesive vinyl projects, you will need transfer tape. After testing so many, this one has been my go-to for a couple of years now. I got this 50 foot roll on Amazon, and when I say this transfer tape transfers the vinyl like butter, I truly mean it. It's so good, I 100% recommend it. This one has a medium tack, which is perfect to transfer different types of vinyls, including the fun ones like holographic and metallic vinyl. This is the second roll I have bought. The first one literally lasted me over a year. This brings us to the next tool. Along with the transfer tape, you will need a scraper or a squeegee tool. 
I mostly use them for vinyl projects during the application process to burnish and apply the designs. Also, it helps keep my mats clean by scraping off the small material scraps left behind on the adhesive. The difference between scrapers and squeegee tools is that the scrapers have a thinner plastic end, whereas the squeegee tools have a felt edge that can help reduce scratches. These come in a variety of sizes. For example, the XL Cricut scraper allows you to work with bigger vinyl projects more easily. Now these next supplies I'm going to list are needed to make iron-on projects. The vinyl you will need is called iron-on vinyl, also known as HTV or heat transfer vinyl. It requires heat during the application process to transfer onto your blanks properly. My favorite brands for iron-on vinyl include Caesar Easy Weed HTV and sometimes I do like to use a Cricut brand for their smart iron-on material. You will need a heat press source to apply this material. I've used my Cricut Easy Press for a few years, which worked great for me, but I recently upgraded to the 15 by 15 inch Heat Press Nation Craft Pro. I wanted to expand and make bigger projects and not just be limited to a 9 by 9 heat plate. Your decision on which heat press you will need will depend on the size of projects you're planning on creating. There are so many sizes and models for you to choose from in the heat press market. If you go for the Cricut Easy Press, a heat pad is a must to keep your table protected when using your heat press. It is placed under the garment or blank you're working with. Make sure to have a lint roller to remove any lint from the blanks before pressing your iron on vinyl. Next, these t-shirt rulers are great to have to help you align your designs properly on your tops. The set I got comes with three sizes for adults, toddlers, and infants. Lastly, you will need something to protect your heat press and HTV when working with layering projects and infusible ink. You can either get a reusable Teflon sheet, butcher paper, or parchment paper. I hope you found this video helpful. Everything I mentioned in this video will be linked in the description box. If you aren't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more craft content. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time with a new DIY.